Hey, this is Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here at HP's event in New York City with Brian from HP. And uh, it's the uh, customer welcome center we're at actually in New York with HP. And Brian's here to take us through some interesting new AI tools for developers and uh, workstation pros. What do you got, Brian? So, so very exciting. Uh, so I'm glad to meet you. I'm Brian Allen. I lead our global product team for desktop and mobile workstations. First, I want to talk about uh, the HP ZGX Nano. Very excited about this product. We'll be shipping this uh, in the fall. Uh, pricing will come uh, in the fall as well. This is a new ZGX Nano really designed for AI development. So AI developers, data scientists, academics, researchers. It's based upon NVIDIA's new GB10 Grace Blackwell architecture. Nice. It's an ARM-based SOC architecture up to 128 gig of RAM. I'll repeat that again, 128 gig of RAM. That's a lot of memory. Being able to go up to four terabytes of storage. Um, you can actually do prototyping, uh, uh, fine tuning, uh, inferencing. This will support up to 200 billion parameter models. If you think about when GBT3 came out at the end of 2022, that was a little less than 200 uh, billion parameters. Mm -hmm. What's really exciting is you've got the traditional ports in the back, okay. so you can you can have it at a desktop with keyboard, mouse, uh, uh, display, but typically you're gonna connect this to a network. And we actually use a 200 gigabit uh, throughput QSFP cables. That's an example of what this cable looks like. Wow. So one can go into a network, and then I can actually use the second one, and I can pair two of them together, and now I'm working with 400 billion parameter models. Wow. Um, so really being able to scale up that, that AI development in something that fits literally in the palm of my hand at about 2.6 pounds. Wow, nice stuff. Um, anything else on that? Uh, availability, price, are you talking that yet? So, so availability will come in the fall and, okay. and pricing closer to that. I will okay. also say that uh, it does uh, support, we have an HP uh, software toolkit, AI software toolkit, that really gives out of the box productivity. So we, we preload it with uh, tools and libraries like VS Code, MLflow, uh, Unsloth, really gives that AI developer, uh, data scientist, out of the box productivity. They get the unit, turn it on, and they're, they're ready to go. Very cool. So the HP ZGX Nano. Nano, yes. Good the stuff. Other end of the spectrum. Yeah. We, we've got the smallest in our portfolio, uh, and then now we have uh, the beast of a mobile workstation. This is an 18 inch uh, ZBook Fury. Uh, a lot of our customers were telling us they really wanted the performance of a desktop, but they wanted to be able to mobile with it. Um, so uh, 18 inch display mm -hmm. uses the Intel HX architecture, so desktop like architecture, uh, up to Ultra 9 uh, CPU. Uh, NVIDIA RTX Pro 5000 class graphics, so being able to go up to 24 gig of VRAM. We have four user accessible upgradable DIMM slots. Okay. So you go up to 256 gig of RAM. Nice. Mobile workstation. We have four uh, user accessible upgradable M.2s for storage. So you can go up to 16 terabytes of storage. Mm -hmm. What's nice is everything's user accessible. So you start with the project you're working on, you start with what you need. Maybe you just need 64 gig of RAM. Maybe you need 128 gig. You know you can upgrade it at a later date. It's got full ISV certification, so if you're doing anything with Autodesk or SolidWorks or Adobe, you've got that covered, but you can also do AI deployment or development on that as well. Very cool, so RTX Pro, RTX 5, 000, Pro 5000. 5000. Yeah. yeah, with full ISV supports. Very cool, very cool. Uh, display, are you talking? So, we, so 18 inch display, okay. uh, 2.5K uh, okay. resolution, uh, five megapixel camera. Great, IPS? IPS, yes, okay. absolutely. And that's the ZBook Fury G1i. Yes. All right, Brian, good Appreciate stuff. It. Appreciate the detail. Thanks for coming by.